Hey, love bugs. This is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, and you want to go ahead and drop me a line or two, even if it's about the content, or you finding out you're a Hayoka, or even just being a Hayoka and how you feel about it, I would love to hear from you and get to know more about you. So go ahead and drop me a line or two. I would love to get positive feedback. And if you feel like you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It'll greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for coming by my channel and seeing what my videos are about. And from my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you, as always. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for stopping by my, my channel today and seeing what I'm about. Today, I'm listening to Sleep, uh, chi, uh, chi Energy Balancing Healing, um, Balancing and Healing, um, music meditation. I will go ahead and put, post that link in the description box below. This is a very, very, very calm meditation. I don't know, um, if you like to do, like, Tai Chi, I love to do Tai Chi. It's like, to me, it feels like a dancing meditation. You, you just listen to music and you just pull your hands back and forth and just move it back like this and you're bringing your legs up. Like, if you ever watched like uh, Karate Kid or anything like that, they do those things and I'm telling you, I mean, you release so much negative energy when you do that you feel so light after that. So that is a really good meditation, especially if you like to do Tai Chi. But anyways, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey Okas, will you make that change? Hey Okas, will you make that change? It's just, oh my goodness. It's creepy because I, when I made my video on Saturday, last Saturday on my dad's anniversary, and I was talking about, you know, when you see, when you're seeing so much tragedy out in the world, and it, I was talking about seeing people getting blown up, and it was not even a day or two afterwards they found that van. It was something about a van or something about it being blown up, and it, it was just crazy when you, you're hearing about these people. You know that you know these terrorists going around renting trucks just to go you know shoot up some folks or run down the track or you know run down the jogging path and all this crazy stuff. But it's just like with us as helpers, we're already placed here to help humanity, save the world. Cause Lord, we definitely so so called need it right now, and it's just like it's bad when you can't even you can't go to church, you can't go to movies. Um, you can't even run a marathon. You can't go to the casino. <laughs> and it's like, you can't do anything without having to worry about, is this going to be your last day? So with us, I'm just wondering, will you make that change? It all starts with us. It all starts with us. And it's just like, we're supposed to help people awaken. We're supposed to help people do the positive thing. Raise frequencies when you feel it's low. Will you take that responsibility and be able to do that? Because we need, I mean, I, I like, I'm, I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. And I feel really good about doing it because it's just like, no matter how bad I feel, or, you know, things that we go through, especially being hell with anyway. And it's just bad when you're like, it's not bad, but it, it gets really crazy when you're not just a hell, but if you're an INFJ or if you're an indigo or you could be a twin flame or you could be a shaman, you could be a white witch or you could be all these things combined. Like with me, I got... I, I, there's probably more things about myself I don't even know about but I'm making that change and it starts with yourself first you know we have to be able to change right right our wrongs you know clear our karma karma so we can be able to help the next person because it's like if we're all a mess we can't we can't do that <laughs> we can't sit up here and be all a mess and be trying to help somebody else out and they'll be looking at you like 
okay, you're trying to help me figure out this situation and you over here a hot mess. So it's just like, we have to be able to make that change within ourselves. Are we going to be able to take that next step and be, be that person that is humbled by the things that has happened? You know, when you hear about people wanting to commit suicide, I used to be that way. I used to feel like life wasn't worth living. And it, it's just like, I was watching a video the other day, uh, what's her name? I'm, I'm lying with Tasha, um, when she was talking about a certain celebrity that wanted to commit suicide. And she just, she was just like, you know what, I've been, you know, on that, in that state where I was depressed. So have I. Maybe you have too. You've been, you know, having anxiety, you know, stuff like that. But when you start feeling that way, when it's just like suicide can be such a selfish decision, such a selfish decision, even though some people feel like, you know, I don't feel like I'm, I'm worthless or I don't matter. And it's just like we're, we all have a purpose here. You know, none of our lives are worthless unless you just don't, you know, you're wasting it. It could be, it's not worthless, but it can be wasted. And I decide I'm not going to waste my life anymore, even though, I, you know, it's never too late to change. But when you're ready, when you're actually really ready to take that next step, that's the big question. Will you be able to make that change? Are you humbled by the things that you have went through? You know, um, when people are going through suicide and feel like they're not worth living, why don't you, you know, like that was a, like Tasha was saying, why don't you take yourself, um, and why don't you volunteer in a hospital or volunteer at a shelter? So when you, when you see these people going through these things and we complain about our everyday lives, it could be bills, it could be where we live could be the car, clothes, and stuff we wear. We, we don't be appreciative, appreciative of the things that we have. But when you go to a hospital and you see somebody fighting for their life, when they're, you know, struggling just to breathe, when we, you know, because stuff like that, it just seems like we take for granted until it is taken away. Like, you know, people that I hear, that I've seen that do interviews and stuff like that when they have lost limbs. And it's like, we take for granted that we're able to walk every day. We're able to pick up a glass. We're able to brush our teeth. There's people around here can't even get up in the morning. They got to have somebody pick them up. But when we sit up here, you know, be ungrateful for the fact that we're able to just leap up out of the bed and just go on and do our business until, you know, our legs are gone, then what? You know? So it's just like, basically, I'm just saying, you know, will you take that chance? Will you... Will, will you be able to fix yourself so you can be able to help the world? And that's the big question I'm just asking. You know, will you be able to make that change? Will you be able to make that next step? Are you ready for that next step? But I'm not trying to hold you up. You know, go ahead and drop me a line. I would love to hear the positive feedback. And I would love for you to ask that question to yourself. You know, will you be able to make that chance? You know, take that chance and make that change. And... Hopefully everything will come out right for you and you have some good good answers there. And I hope this resonates with somebody and you enjoy what you heard. Please go ahead and drop me a line. I would love to hear from you. Like and subscribe if you have not already. And go ahead and give me a thumbs up and even share. It would greatly be appreciated. And I will keep you on my prayers and I definitely hope you do the same for me. So now it's much love and light. And if your frequency is low or you see somebody else's frequency low, raise it to the roof. They'll appreciate it. And I will see you on my next video. Be safe. And stay blessed. Peace. And be wild.